You don't know what a padiddle is? I've never even heard the word in my entire we, life. We witnessed one this morning on the way to work. A car that has one headlight out. Get out of here. That's a padiddle. That's but, not a real thing. Yeah, it is. Is that like a kid word? Is that something no, you made up when you were no, a kid? No. I mean, I no. This is a word that everyone, all adults, have heard before. You, I don't think so. I don't, don't think pretend. I, uh, come you, on. You, 47 years old. I've never heard the word padiddle ever in my life. 7210987. Light 987. Hi. What's your first name? Tony. Tony. Hi, Tony. How you doing? Hi, doing good. What? What's up? Okay, listen. Padiddle is a real word. Ha, ha. No, it's it not. Is. Come listen, on. Listen, here's the thing with it, okay? <laughs> when you see a car with one headlight out, you say padiddle three times, it's supposed to be good luck. Wow, I didn't even know that part of it, Tony. Yes. Okay. Is it like but a punch is, buggy, but not the, quite the same? What? Is it like punch buggy? You know, when you see like a, a Volkswagen bug, you say punch buggy and you punch somebody. Do I get to, to, totally I get to punch Dave in this? I guess that's my takeaway question. No, you can't punch him for padiddle. Thank no. you, Tony. Thank Can you. Can I? Oh, Jesus, no. All right. Previously on Beth and Dave in the morning. Nancy's been holding for a few minutes. And what were you saying, Nancy? I just had to say this because it's making me glass in my stomach. If there's not trouble in your household, I have to eat my word. What you guys do with each other is what my ex-husband does to me. <laughs> Our relationship is based on a firm foundation of sarcasm and mutual harassment. At least from Beth's perspective. <laughs> Beth and Dave. Weekday mornings with the best variety of the 80s through today on Light 98.7. Dave comes in this morning, 530. You got to hear the song. I'm like, what the hell's the matter with you? It's new top, Eddie. Well, just, look, I, he's one of my favorite artists of all time. So emotional. Great songwriter. He died too young. And here they've discovered a new song. And I think it's great. Could have been a hit. Maybe it still will be. Who knows? Do you know somebody like Dave who cries at the strangest things? Why is I'm, that? Not, I'm not. It's not that you're like so sensitive because the, on the other hand, he doesn't respond to it's like I could say, Dave, turns out I'm going to have to have my entire leg cut off. And he'd be like, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, try me if that really happens and we'll see. Oh, my. You're the king of that. You're the king of. Yeah. Mm hmm. Hon, I got to talk to you about something that's been going on, really weighing on my mind. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Tom Petty has a new song out. I can't believe it. It's like amazing. You, you don't, that's not strange. That's, <laughs> that's cray cray. Same thing with like Shawshank Redemption. Which you've seen how many times? But, it, but when he busts out of the jail where he's been falsely imprisoned for 20 or 30 years. I mean, that is that's a triumph. That's not even a cry scene, a, though. Yes, it is. It's, it's a, not a cry it's scene. It's the triumphant moment over the bad guy. Light 98.7. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Marianne. Hi, Marianne. What's up? Well, I cry at the videos where... Babies have implants put in for hearing, and they can hear. Yes! Mm -hmm. I love those videos. Oh, oh so that's God. okay for you, Beth, but it's not okay that I cry? Because you're supposed to cry at that, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's funny, guys. It's time for Your Mom Must Be So Proud. Morons. I mean, idiot. Oh. I'm not a smart man. With Beth and Dave in the morning on Light 98.7. And extreme moronic behavior in California. 25-year-old Robert Quigley rear-ended an SUV over the weekend that was stopped in traffic. The car Quigley was driving burst into flames. Oh, my gosh. This is where the extreme stupidity occurred, according to witnesses. Quigley got out of his car, shirtless, got out a cigarette, and turned back to his burning car to attempt to light the cigarette from his mouth to the burning car. Is that stupidity or is that just like supreme <laughs> coolness? I feel like I've seen that scene in an action movie somewhere where the guy's like blows something up and then like lights a cigarette on it. Well, it didn't work for him so well because he singed his eyebrows off and burned his neck. Thank God no one else was injured in the crash. His second DUI of the week, by the way. Oh, boy. well, you yeah. know, that's why you wanted to light up. <laughs> a little bit of stress, right? Beth and Dave in the morning. I'm ashamed God made me a man. I don't think God's doing a lot of bragging about it either. On Light 98.7. Now there's a new company, and they're going to help you preserve your loved one's tattoos. They cut the skin off, the dead body, and then they preserve it, and then they frame it so you can hang it on your wall. There might be some people listening right now who have done it already. Beth, who knows? Maybe that's the next trend. Maybe yeah. I can just preserve, like, that nice freckle on your cheek. I'll have it leathered up, and I'll frame it, and there you go, your favorite mole. And you put it on a ring. Beth and Dave. That's the most disgusting. Ugh. Weekday mornings with the best variety of the 80s through today on Light 98.7.